Welcome to the 6-5 Summit. I'm Fred McClymans, an analyst here at Futurum Research. On behalf of the teams here at Futurum and at More Insights and Strategy, we're pleased to present this keynote session with Intel's Lisa Spellman. Lisa is a Corporate Vice President and General Manager at the Xeon and Memory Group of Intel. She'll be discussing investing for the data center of the future. Let's take a look. Across every industry, how your company leverages data will be one of the largest competitive differentiators in the coming years. A December 2019 Intel study of 1,700 IT decision makers found that the most dramatic growth in IT spending for critical transformational applications were in the area of analytics, business intelligence, and artificial intelligence. The increase is driven by the desire for real-time analysis so data can immediately shape decisions and business operations. Data can be used to make better decisions, win and retain customers, deliver new products and services, improve efficiency, and more. However, in order to benefit from data, you must first overcome its challenges. Over half of the world's data was created in the last two years, and it continues to grow exponentially. All of that data can be messy and unstructured. It is often in the wrong place or the wrong format. It can be difficult to hire and retain the talent needed to make sense of the data. And each service that relies on this data comes with unique requirements. For example, network traffic analysis must operate in real time to identify and mitigate attacks or fraudulent financial activity. In retail, sales and video data can be used to gain insight into customer purchase trends, but requires further work to turn those trends into real-time recommendation engines. And while this analysis doesn't come with the same time pressure as network analysis, the data is likely distributed across thousands of store locations. So what is needed to transform data from a challenge into an opportunity? To turn data into a competitive differentiator and succeed in this age of rapid change, IT leaders need a technology infrastructure that is versatile, high performance, consistent, and scalable across all operations and service delivery points. To create the optimal infrastructure, we have to think data-centric, not data center. Thinking data-centric means following the flow of the data from creation through to analysis and insight. Where should data be moved, stored, and processed for optimal service and efficiency? Start with the business problem. Look at the optimal data flow, then design your infrastructure to support those needs. The data challenge touches every aspect of infrastructure. Taking a 360-degree view across hardware, software, personnel skills, and operations will deliver greater business results at lower cost. For data to reveal its full value, it needs to be in the right place at the right time with the right resources. A big centralized data center may not always be the right approach. Increasingly, data must be processed closer to the point of creation and collection, giving rise to edge computing. This also coincides with an increasing prevalence of artificial intelligence use cases. AI is being used to transform businesses around the globe, and over time we will see it being built into all applications. This creates a situation where, across all industries, technology infrastructure will need to be AI capable. If you've heard me speak in the past, you know that I love talking about the many benefits of Intel's unmatched product portfolio, which includes Ethernet, silicon photonics, switches, SSDs, persistent memory, CPUs, and XPUs. But I'm not going to do that today. If you're interested in learning more about Intel's data-centric product portfolio, you can find more information at intel.com slash datacentric. Today, I want to stay focused on the data opportunity and share just a few of the many examples of businesses rising to the data challenge. Global auto manufacturer Audi was looking to optimize their welding inspection process. One of their German factories would complete 5 million welds per day. Because inspecting every weld would slow production to a fraction of the required output, the standard industry practice was to sample a car or two per day and literally rip it apart to check the welds. If a problem was found, an entire day's production may have to be rechecked or reworked. 
Collaborating with Intel and ecosystem partners, Audi was able to add visual weld inspection cameras with AI inference powered by Intel Movidius visual processing units directly to the welding robots, which enabled a weld quality control in real time. Data ingest and analytics were powered by Xeon-based platforms in the factory's data center. Welding issues could be identified and isolated immediately, maximizing line throughput and delivering a 30 to 50% reduction in inspection costs. And thanks to the scalability of the solution, Audi can now use the same platform as the foundation for other use cases involving robots and controllers, such as riveting, gluing, and painting. ZTO Express is one of the world's largest package delivery services based in China. Their customers constantly demand shorter time to delivery. From the delivery vehicles, handheld devices, planes, and warehouses, a huge flood of data needs to be processed. Traditional databases were overwhelmed by the volume and velocity of data. So ZTO Express moved their logistics analysis and scheduling to an in-memory database based on Redis. However, given the amount of memory required, the cost of DRAM became a major expense. ZTO Express was able to save 30% on their hardware costs with a 3.5 terabyte platform based on second gen Xeon and Optane persistent memory. In a great example of IT being core to the business, on Singles Day in 2019, when ZTO Express needed to handle over 200 million orders, the new system handled the surge with all orders placed before 5 p.m. delivered on the same or next day. Telefonica is a major global telecom and cloud provider focused in Spain and Latin America. Telefonica's cloud service division evolved a huge diversity of storage solutions to meet customers' different needs, from separate storage area networks to direct attached storage. This patchwork increased costs and lowered the infrastructure efficiency. They wanted a uniform, hyper-converged solution, but were skeptical it could meet the storage performance needs of their most demanding customers. Telefonica worked with Intel and industry partners to create a global HCI solution that met all of their customers' performance requirements with a tiered storage hierarchy based on VMware vSAN, Intel Optane, and Intel 3D NAND SSDs. With this solution, they were able to consolidate and standardize infrastructure and substantially lower their costs. So how should you prioritize your data center investments to deliver the capabilities and flexibility needed to remain agile and competitive over the next five to 10 years? This is my guidance to technology decision makers on the top three priorities. Having a versatile, consistent platform foundation across private and public clouds allows you to place the right workload at the right location, which leads to greater efficiency and the freedom to focus more energy on innovation. Intel technology provides the foundation for a flexible, scalable environment, including the software enabling and ecosystem partnerships that Intel is known for. Be ready for AI everywhere. The built-in AI technologies in our latest Xeon scalable platforms provide AI capabilities across your mainstream infrastructure, so AI enhancements can be easily added across all applications. Most AI inference is deployed on Xeon today and a growing number of customers are starting their AI training journey on Xeon. However, there is no one-size-fits-all approach when it comes to AI, so look to add acceleration when and where the application requires it for performance, power, or specialized capabilities. Take a balanced approach to system and workload placement. No matter how fast the compute engine, it can't deliver if starved for data from a constrained network or poorly tiered storage system. Invest to move, store, and process across the data pipeline to deliver the service levels your company and customers demand. The same goes for workload placement. Use a centralized data center approach to reap the rewards for simplified management and scale, for services that require lowest latency or unique data locality requirements, explore emerging options at the edge. It is truly an exciting time to be in tech. IT is no longer simply supporting the business, you're now driving business transformation. Thank you.